how hard is it to simulate all of the things that we've been talking about, each of the things we've been talking about, and maybe one day all of the things we've been talking about and beyond, meaning like from the initial primordial solar system, you know, a bunch of disks with, I don't know, billions, trillions of objects in them, like simulate that such that you eventually get a Jupiter and a Saturn, and then eventually you get the Jupiter and the Saturn that clear out a disk, change the gravitational landscape, then Earth pops up, like that whole thing. And then be able to do that for every other system in the, uh, every other star in the galaxy, and then be able to do that for other galaxies as well. Um, yeah, so look. Maybe start from the smallest yeah. simulation, like what is actually being done today? I mean, even the smallest simulation is probably super, super difficult. Even just like one object in the Kuiper Belt is probably super difficult to simulate. I mean, I think it's super easy. I okay. mean, like it's <laughs> okay. it's just not that hard. Um, yeah. But, um, you know, let's, let's ask the most kind of basic problem. Okay, so the problem of having a star and something in orbit of it that okay. you don't need a simulation for like you can just write that down on a piece of paper mm -hmm. there's gravity what like yeah i guess i guess it's important to try to uh you know one way to simulate objects in our solar system is to build the universe from scratch okay we'll get to building the universe okay. from scratch in a sec um but let me just kind of go through the hierarchy of what you know what, yeah. what we do two objects right. so two objects analytically solvable like we can figure it out very easily if you just you don't even, i don't think you yeah you don't need to know calculus uh, it helps to know calculus but you don't necessarily need to know calculus um three objects that are gravitationally interacting the solution is chaotic doesn't matter how many simulations you do you the answer loses meaning after um after some time i feel like that is a metaphor for dating as well but go on <laughs> now look yeah so so the fact that you go from analytically solvable to unpredictable, you know, when you are, you know, when your simulation goes from two bodies to three bodies, should immediately tell you that the exercise of trying to engineer a calculation where you form the, solar, the entire solar system from scratch and hope to have some predictive answer is is a futile one, right? We will never. Uh, succeed at such a simulation. So like, sorry, just to clarify, you mean like explicitly having a clear equation that generalizes the the whole process enough to be able to make a prediction? Mm -hmm. Or do you mean actually like literally simulating the objects is a hopeless pursuit once it increases well, beyond three? The simulating them is not a hopeless pursuit, but the outcome becomes uh, a statistical one. Right. And what's actually quite interesting is I think we have all the equations uh, figured out right like right. you know in order to really understand this the formation of the the solar system it suffices to know gravity and magneto hydrodynamics i mean like the combination of uh maxwell's equations and you know navier stokes equations for the fluids you need to know quantum mechanics to understand opacities and and so on but we have those equations in hand it's not that we don't have that understanding it's that Putting it all together um, is A, very, very difficult, and B, if you were to run the same evolution twice, changing you know, the initial conditions by some infinitesimal amount, some you know, minor change in your calculation to start with, you would get, the, you'd get a different answer. This is one, this is part of the reason why planetary systems are so diverse. You don't have like a, you know, very predictive path for you start with a disk of this mass and it's around this star, therefore you're gonna form the solar system, mm. right? You start with this and therefore you will form this huge outcome, a huge set of outcomes and some percentage of it will resemble the solar system.